Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach who has lost and maintained a 140 pound weight loss. And today we are channeling all things Halloween with a Halloween baking video. I have not one, not two, but three Halloween recipes for you. All sweet treats, all perfect for Halloween and Halloween festivities. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on because I upload five videos every single week and I love doing holiday themed baking. We'll definitely be doing some Christmas themed baking videos as well. Down in the description box, I will have my recipe website. That is where you will find all three of today's Halloween baking recipes as well as nutrition coaching. Links and discounts to my favorite things and come join my free Facebook group. We would love to have you. So let's head into the kitchen and let's bake some Halloween treats. So the first recipe we're making is one I'm really excited about and that is candy corn cookie. So let me give you a little bit of information here before we get started. I'm going to be using mainly regular ingredients, regular butter, regular sugar. There are a few substitutions I will be making, but when I put the recipe on my website, I will make it a lighter, lower calorie, Weight Watchers friendly recipe, but I'm going to be giving most of this away, so I'm going to make it pretty traditional. But again, I'll have all of those modifications for you on my website. So let me show you what you'll need for candy corn cookies. You're going to need all purpose flour, brown sugar, a great brown sugar substitute is sucre and gold. This is actually what I typically use when I make these cookies. I'm going to do half sucre and gold, half regular brown sugar. You can buy this on Nutrition. I do have a 10% discount. I will link it down below for you. You're also going to need sugar. I always substitute allulose. I think it tastes very similar to regular sugar, so we're not. So I'm not even going to use regular sugar, I'll just use allulose in the recipe. Again, I buy allulose on Amazon, I'll link that for you as well. Vanilla extract, salt, unsalted butter, eggs, candy corn of course, white chocolate chips, you can sub Lily's white chocolate chips, baking soda, and cornstarch. So I went ahead and added three quarters of a cup of unsalted butter to a bowl. I have a quarter cup of allulose, three quarters of a cup of sucre and gold, one egg and one egg yolk, and then a couple teaspoons of vanilla extract. And then we're just going to whisk this together until combined. And then into a large bowl, I have two and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour, teaspoon of baking soda, and two teaspoons of corn starch, and then about a half of a teaspoon of salt. And then we're going to mix all of those dry ingredients together. And then we're going to add the wet mixture to the dry mixture, mixture and stir to combine. To our dough, we're adding in three quarters of a cup of white chocolate chips, stirring those until incorporated. And then I'm actually going to throw my dough into the fridge for a couple of hours. Three hours later. So I just pulled the candy corn cookie dough out of the fridge. I've got my oven preheating to 350 degrees. And we're going to take the dough, it's pretty hard from being in the fridge, and roll that into a ball. It says about two tablespoons of the dough. And then on a parchment lined baking sheet, I'm gonna place it down and I'm gonna press it just a little bit and then repeat until we've got all of the dough rolled out onto two parchment lined baking sheets. So the first batch of cookies is going in for 11 to 13 minutes or until they're lightly browned around the edges. So I just took the first batch of the cookies out of the oven. While they're hot, we're going to just press three candy corn into each cookie. Look how cute these are. We're going to allow them to cool completely. And here's what they look like. Aren't these absolutely adorable? I have them on my cute little Creep It real plate. I'm telling you, this is another great thing to bring up to all of those festive parties or another great thing to make with your kids and have in your house for that Halloween sweet treat. I'm so excited to make monster 
bark. This is going to be so much fun, especially if you have a Halloween party or like me, you wanna give some of these goodies away. So let me show you what you'll need. So you're going to need graham crackers. And then I ordered this sprinkle mix off of Amazon because it has eyeballs in it. And that's one of the things that this particular bark called for since it's monster bark. And then it has all the fun Halloween colored sprinkles. I'll link this, like I said, I bought it right off of Amazon. And then I ended up getting just white candy melts because I couldn't find at least close by purple and green candy melts. And so I bought purple and green food coloring to dye the white melts purple and green for the bark. So I divided my bag of the candy melts out between two bowls. I have six ounces in one bowl, six ounces in another. I'm going to get this melted and then I will stir the green into one and the purple into the other. So I have eight graham cracker sheets total. Here is my green candy melts. I'm just going to drizzle that on top and then we'll spread it out nice and even over the graham crackers. And then we're going to swirl the purple on top of the green. And then we're going to add our sprinkles and our little monster eyeballs right on top. And then I'm going to pop the monster bark into the fridge for about 15 minutes or until it's set. So I just took the monster bark out of the fridge. It is nice and hardened. We're just going to break it up, but I wanted to show you what it looks like. This is seriously so cute. So we're just going to break this up. You can do the graham cracker squares or you can just kind of break it into pieces. It's seriously so much fun. Kids would absolutely love this. Here's the monster bark. Isn't that cute? So here is basically what the pieces look like. So much fun. Again, perfect for parties. Such an easy recipe for your kids or your grandkids to make. And it's just fun with the green, the purple, the sprinkles, and the cute little monster eyes. And our final recipe I'm also so excited for. This is going to be caramel apple dip. So let me show you what you'll need. You're going to need salted butter, cream cheese of your choice. I'm using one third less fat brown sugar, heavy whipping cream, dry roasted salted peanuts, and of course some apples. So I went ahead and added my six tablespoons of salted butter to a small saucepan. I'm going to let that completely melt. Then we're going to add in three quarters of a cup of packed brown sugar and six tablespoons of heavy whipping cream. Go ahead and give that a stir. We wanna make sure that brown sugar gets fully dissolved. Go ahead and reduce your heat to medium low and we're going to allow this to simmer for about four minutes. We want it to get nice and bubbly. How amazing this caramel looks. It just needs about another minute and then I'm going to remove it from the heat. We want to allow this to cool and while it's cooling, we'll go ahead and get our cream cheese ready to go. I'm going to take my handheld mixer and just mix this cream cheese. amazing this looks and then we're just going to top it with some salted peanuts and then since I have some of these fun Halloween sprinkles left I'm going to do just a few on top let's bring in a little bit more Halloween so here is the dip doesn't that look so good I went ahead and chopped up a couple of apples put them on this fun Halloween place. This is such a fun, sweet treat. Again, perfect to bring to a Halloween party. You could put some fun plastic spiders into the dip. There's a lot of possibilities. So buttery and creamy and delicious, definitely a winner. joining 
me for my Halloween baking series. I hope you enjoyed seeing all three recipes. These are so much fun for Halloween. Whether you're baking for your family, Halloween parties, Halloween festivities, these are the treats to make. And don't forget, they are on my recipe website, which is linked at the top of the description box, along with nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and come join our Facebook group. We would love to have you. Happy Halloween, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.